Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Good morning. <clears throat> it is Tuesday. How are you guys this morning? Hope that you all had a great night's sleep last night. I am doing wonderful today. Good morning, Jen, Chuck. How are you guys this morning? <clears throat> hey, Karen, good morning. Good morning, my friend. Mariana, good morning. Mariana's on there, yeah. Yes, Mariana's on this morning. Yoo-hoo! She joined the party this morning. <laughs> hey, girl, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? Tuesday, my goodness. This week is already on its way, right? So, getting my stuff together here this morning. I see everybody's up. Good morning, Dorothy. Ooh, my hair is all hot, mate. Crazy mess this morning. Woohoo! <laughs> Natural curly hair. I tell you what, it has a mind of its own. And it's growing out, so hopefully I will be able to get something done with it soon, sooner or later. Ha! <laughs> so, anywho, you guys getting started this morning, getting on your way this morning up and moving around. We have picture day today with the boys, so I, we had to come in here and do a little bit of hair. I still have to fix Shane's hair real quick before I get out the door, but uh, we got that going. Oh yeah, somebody put Scooby away. We've got to put Scooby away. We don't need to leave him running loose in the house. Lord knows he does enough while we're awake. We don't need him here. We don't need to know what he'll do when we're not here. Oh my goodness. So... I was listening to, good morning, Michelle, listening, my, my, bio, my uh, class starts tomorrow for Beauty for Ashes here in DeLand, and I was going over some of the uh, video this morning and listening to it, and I listened to her the other day, and the more I listen to this video, the more excited I get about this class. This, this, is, this is good stuff. I literally could just listen to this all day long. This is part of, uh, yeah, Karen, right? <laughs> This is part of, uh, you know, my ministry of, of what she's talking about. And this um, is the Beauty for Ashes. And, and um, back in the spring, we did Battlefield of the Mind. And that is just something that God has really just put in my heart. Because there are so many people, so many of us out there that, you know, she just gives like examples of, you know, don't listen to what, you know, this person said or that person said or, or what have you. Don't, don't let this kind of stuff get in your mind. And, you know, there's a lot of things that, this is the thing that really, really amazes me. There's a lot of things that we have had happen um, in our lives and in our childhood or maybe young adult. Maybe you had um, a situation or had someone in your life that was, um, that spoke things over you. And at the time... We don't even realize that it's abnormal. We don't realize that it's not something that's just an everyday thing. We don't realize the hurt and the, um, the negativity that it can bring into our lives when we are going through it. And it's almost like it's the normal for us, for someone to say, you know... Um, love you, honey. For someone to just say to you, you know, you're crazy. You know, you're crazy. You're always acting, you know, what's wrong with you? Or um, we think it's normal that someone says, you know, are you always going to just work at that dead end job? Are you always just going to, you know, do, do this thing? Are you always just going to sit home and be an at home mom? Are you always just going to, you know, and we begin to, good morning, Jane, we begin to almost just take it as a normal thing every single day. We don't realize day after day us hearing these things that people are saying to us, about us, over us, that they're really taking root and we begin to believe those things that are being said about us. You know, um, this, this is something that really just has really spoke to me lately is when people say, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? They'll say it in a nice, joking, fun way. Like, you know, or that's what's wrong with, that, that's what's wrong, you're, you, you're doing this. That's what's wrong. 
especially a, a especially a uh, let me get this out. Um, especially parents with their children, they'll say, "Well, that's what's wrong with him. You always give him his way." Well, that's what's wrong with her. When she whines, you always, you know, that. well, that's what's wrong with them. You hear that so many all the time that it becomes to be a normal thing for us to hear. And then we grow up and we're like, well, that's what's wrong with me. I got my way all my life. Or that's what's, that's what's wrong with me. Because we hear that. And, and I think a lot of times the person that's saying it don't realize what they are doing to that person. But when someone hears that all the time, like, you know, when people be like, they didn't do good in school. Well, that's what's wrong with me. I'm just this. That's what's wrong with me. Those little words like that can pour so much negativity and so much doubt and so much just fear and so many things into somebody. And the person that's doing it, hey, Darlene, that person that's doing it truly probably don't even realize that they're doing it because they had it happen to them too. And maybe they're not at a place that they realize. They might think, oh, well, Amy, you're just looking into that too much. No. No, I'm not looking into that too much. Those little words that you speak into somebody that you might think, well, that's just not how I meant it when I said it. Well, I'm sorry, but the brain... The brain takes it a different way. And the brain, we, it's our natural way because the way society is, we compare ourselves with people all the time. So we automatically try to find out what is wrong with us. Why are we not like Susie or Bobby? So when you go back and we start comparing ourselves to do things like with other people, we start remembering what little words that people said over top of somebody. Don't say to your child, well, that's what's wrong with you if you just be quiet and listen to what I'm saying. Maybe that child has a lot on his mind. Maybe there's a lot he's thinking about. Maybe there's a lot. Maybe we need to be, that's what's wrong with us. Maybe we talk too much, then we listen. Right? Right? Maybe we need to, to, to zip our lip for a little bit and realize that maybe this child has some things or maybe this person. Why are we always the one to say, well, that's what's wrong with you? What's wrong with us always trying to find out what's wrong with somebody else when we need to be looking at our own self and figure out what we need to fix in our own life and quit worrying about what we need to be trying to fix in everybody else's. That's the thing. That's the thing. When you start focusing more on fixing ourselves, because we can't always control everybody else. We can only take care of what's going on in here and here. It's not our job. God did not put us here to fix everybody and try to point out their problems. When we have our own that we need to be figuring out, right? I have had to seriously step back and learn a lot of that. There's a lot of little key words that I have been guilty of saying to my children and to other people because it was a normal for me. It was the normal thing, the normal way to talk that I had to pull back the way I said things and get some new verbiage out there, you know? And realize that I'm doing more harm than good. How about saying, wow, you're awesome. Blah, 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 blah. How about focusing on some positive stuff once in a while? Anyways, this went a lot longer than what I thought it was going to go this morning. I got to get out the door. But that was like the little words. Just the little words that we can change. Just two words in a sentence that can change the pattern and the thoughts of what somebody thinks about themselves. Okay, listen, we got to get these boys. I'm running late. Come on, boys, get in here quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on, quickly. Ah, I hope this helps somebody. If it did, send me some hearts. Feel free to share. Um, I see a lot of new people on this morning. Sean's in the bathroom, and we're getting ready to go out the door. Ah, I see a lot of new people coming on here this morning. Thank you for joining us. We come on around the same time every morning, uh, Monday through Friday. We're here between, depending on how fast I can get everybody moving. We're here between 725 and 730. We pop on. So anyways, smile pretty, Miss Karen said, with your pictures. Uh-uh, be nice. Okay, ready? Today is going to be a great day.
That's a very good day. I am blessed and highly favored. I am blessed and highly favored. I am the head and not the tail. I am the head and not the tail. I'm a leader and not a follower. I'm a leader and not a follower. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. No weapon formed against me is going to prosper. I can do all things. I mean, no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. Don't forget these guys. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am who God says I am. I am who God says I am. I am strong and mighty. I'm strong and mighty. I'm going to have an awesome day today. I know. And so are you. You guys have a fabtabulous Tuesday. Say goodbye to these little creatures. Mariana's still on Shane, we're out the front door. Mariana's yes, Mariana's on here. Hi, Mariana. Why don't you to you? Pika, pika. Okay, come on, quickly, quickly. You guys have a fantabulous Tuesday. You're just popping on. Go back and watch the replay. Miss Mariana said smile pretty for the pictures. Go back and watch the replay. Tag somebody. Share. I hope this helped you. You guys have a fantabulous Tuesday. And we will see you Wednesday morning for morning, Wednesday morning, morning affirmations. Mariana said hi. Bye, guys. Goodbye. Okay, watch out.